So you mentioned amino acids, and one thing uh, I'm look at online right now, actually, I pulled it up, is raw amino acids. And uh, these things are quite expensive. I mean, uh, you get two ounces for $16.20, that's $8 an ounce, or you get like two pounds for $135. So you talked about amino acids and how you focus on that. Is a product like this, raw amino acids, is this something that you would potentially incorporate in your garden? Is it useful? So I think that's a dietary supplement. Um, so no, I wouldn't use that. I like to use bioags. So they have a few different products that have amino acids. They have calmino, they have multimino, um, they have nitromino. Nitromino is the most potent one. I think it's 14 or 15% nitrogen. Um, and that is not that expensive. I think it's a pound for like $18 or something like that, $15. Um, and it goes a long way. And no, so I think what you found was like a dietary supplement for people because all all cells require amino acids and they're helpful for humans to consume and for the soil to utilize and biology to utilize. Biology, plant cells, human, you know, animal cells, you know, we all use amino acids. So no, I don't, I wouldn't use that one. Okay, no, this one actually is from NPK Industries uh, and it does talk about- Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It does talk about the chelates, ion nutrients, and facilitating plant uptake, movement into cells. Yeah, this particular one does seem to be- That sounds very expensive. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's what, I was, that's what I was asking. Is it even worth it to buy it that way, or can we get amino acids from somewhere else, you know? We can get amino acids from, from other places. Um, you know, um, since cells are all made of proteins, you can break proteins back down into amino acids using enzymes that- break proteins down into amino acids. These are called proteolytic enzymes or protease. And it's a form of enzyme that will take a protein and break it back down into its original amino acid form. You can find this inside of um, uh, things like lactic acid bacteria serum, which I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with, but it's a fermentation of milk with lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus species, um, that then contains proteolytic enzymes that you can add to plant matter that will break it down and turn it into amino acids. There's also specific plant inputs that are rich in amino acids, things like aloe vera, which I'm a big fan of using in, in my soil. And I'll just take aloe vera, whether cultivated by myself or from like a grocery store, clean it nice and good so you don't have kind of like funky weird stuff on it, chop it up into little pieces, throw it in a blender, strain it, and water it into your plants. And there's a lot of really simple techniques like that that you can do to introduce, you know, um, amino acids as well as different compounds and phytohormones to your garden. Um, another one that I really like is um, red beet. Um, it is rich in a polysaccharide called inulin, which is great at multiplying um, bacteria. It also has nitric oxide in it, which promotes, um, you know, metabolic processes inside of the plant. The list goes on and on. And if you have something growing in your native environment, you can actually look up the phytochemical composition of that plant on websites like Dr. Duke's Phytochemical Database, um, and it'll tell you the full phytochemical composition, and you can take that information and look it up and see what each organic acid's physiological effects are on a plant and integrate it into your garden. And you can identify what the parts per million of phosphorus it contains, potassium, nitrogen, and so on, so that you can take your local native plants and through fermentation or through just blending and straining or composting or feeding to insects, you can integrate it into your garden organically, sustainably, regeneratively. Um, there's just so many cool things like that that would be really difficult to cover all of them in this, in this talk, but you can absolutely go out and find stuff and integrate it into your garden from your local environment. And I think that's where like the creativity and the, the art really comes into living soil cultivation. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.